sure what to do with the ceiling there. took up a little bit more room than I was planning, but I don't think it's anything that's going to be too much trouble. And I just need to put a door. So let's conserve a little bit of space and just put our wall here. Probably going to want a little bit of light in here. You see, you can see the chickens moving around. I'll put a torch there. Hopefully that'll be enough light. Okay, so one farm down. This is the automatic chicken cooker, which uh, uses a design by Exuma Void. And... Yeah, it's pretty it's relatively simple. I mean, you know, I put it together. Now, we'll see if it works. But we don't have any eggs in there yet because they haven't grown up yet. So, using a, you know, relatively common theory, the uh eggs will fire, chicks will be safe on this level, but then once they get tall enough, once they become adults, they'll be tall enough and they'll get cooked by the lava and their the cooked chicken will fall in here. And then if you put a lever right here, you can turn on and off the system so that you switch it off and it will start just saving the eggs. Now, I don't know with this on here whether or not it's in egg saving mode or egg shooting mode or not, but uh, that'll be easy enough to check once we hear the, uh, the chicks sound different. And if they're not shooting off eggs, then we know that it's in egg saving mode. Not anything overly critical. All right, so that's one. And what did I come over here for? I don't remember, but I'm going to drop off these feathers. There we go. And then we can get in to access the dispenser. And all is good. So that brings us to project number two for today. Okay. And that is a nano farm. Now, the nano farm, or micro farm, depending on who you ask and what you call it or whatever, that should just fit in this area. So, we'll just move this back a little bit. Probably could have brought this up a little further as well, but mm, I kind of like it recessed there over the nano farm on the other hand all right so we'll go here 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 and then we will go glowstone here and here 
Okay, so now for this, we need a chest. Which we'll just set right here. We're going to need a hopper going into the chest. Now the one thing I do, oh, I need more dispensers and I'm going to need an observer and I need a hoe. Okay. So let's put some blocks here. Actually, no, that is not correct. All right, so here I'm going to need dirt. I'm also going to need a sticky piston. Slowly but surely, I'm going to remember how to build this thing. So I put a piston here, and I put a piston here. This is not 100% part of the initial design, but I found that you get some loss. So trying to avoid that. Okay, so put some dirt on that one. This is where our sticky piston goes. Of course, of course I did it that way. Oh, for crying out loud. Oops, I am just a mess. Okay, the observer, and I'm never quite sure how to place these. The observer is going to go like that, no. Like that, no. Okay, hold on a second here. Where's the smiley face? There it is, okay. You know, the part that observes. There we go. All right. Now for the dispensers. Is that the right way? I believe so. No. That's the way I want them. All right. So now the redstone for this one is not nearly as tricky. As I believe. Oh, 
I gotta remember where to put the hydration block. That's what I'm forgetting. And it goes here, I believe. Uh, does it actually matter which direction it's facing? Yes, apparently it does. Oh. Okay. Luckily, I didn't put my redstone in yet. Okay, and I think it's just... Okay, no. Let's make a hoe real quick. Okay, well, it is firing, so it's currently in firing mode. Hey, we have a chicken. All right, it's working. Really need to stop doing that. Just pop him there. So underneath this piece, there should be a repeater. And then I will test for the ticks in a moment. coming down the side. All right, now it should be working. Okay, that was a success. I don't not pick it up too many carrots from loose around here, so that's good. Okay, so farm one and farm two are complete. Let's pop a little torch there. And then 
fill this in. Which I can do later because that was what I wanted to get done. I wanted to get done my kelp farm in this episode and I wanted to get done my nano farm and my... Oh, for Pete's sake. My nano farm and my chicken cooker, which sounds like it's doing something. Oh, they haven't grown up yet. We haven't heard the uh, dying squawks yet. So yeah, so that was a productive, uh, productive little episode today. I'm uh, proud to say. So I'm gonna clean this mess up. I've been Big Papa Grump, and I will catch you next time.